Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the MCSX mod in the Prison Launcher, which is an, which, uh, this is an alternative um, to um, uh, what is it? Um, the I forgot what it was called, but it's like an, another community made mod launcher. Um, if you guys know, I already made a Chris Forge launcher one, um, but that is bloated, so this one is lighter. So it should be better on, uh, like it should run better. But um, let's just get started on how to do this. This is another option if you don't want to use Chris Forge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on Add Instance. You're gonna go down to Chris Forge, and you're gonna go down here. As I say, Search and Filter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in MCSX. Click on the first link right here, and click OK. This is ex so right now it's extracting the mod pack and what it's actually gonna ask you to do um, is it's gonna ask you to um, install some of the other mods but let's uh, first things first let's just go to uh, Optifine website um, I'll have this linked in the description for you to download uh, the Optifine UH7 which is um, required you're gonna click open missing and see so you're gonna get all of these files, all of these windows that pop up, this is so you can download the necessary um, files for the game, or like the necessary mods that the game requires. Yep. And there's the stairs in the wood mod where the woods were just like, you know, Steers randomly come. This is gonna be the biggest, um, like, that's probably gonna be the biggest file. I'm just trying to download UPChat, and boom. Now we have all of our things that are required. Click OK, and it's gonna start doing, uh, you know, all of this 136. I believe, if I'm not wrong, there's like 140 something. Um, but with this install, you're gonna, before you even do anything, you go to settings, go to Java, auto detect, and see how this is running on Java 20, version 22. You're gonna go all the way down to 17, Java 17.01. Once you're done with that, click close, and then you're gonna open up the folder. We're gonna go to Minecraft, and then we're gonna go to resource packs. And this already, um, what you're gonna do is, if the mods aren't in there, um, watch. So we're gonna get the MCSX music pack. You see, replace. I'm just gonna replace the destination. Um, right then we're gonna go to um, mods, and you're gonna take all of these, uh, the Optifine and all these other ones. You're just gonna copy them over there. Replace those files, and boom, they have all of those in there. Um. Then what you're gonna do is I shouldn't have closed this up. Let's go to folder, Minecraft. And you're gonna go. To go you're gonna go to config. Oh my gosh. Um, go to fancy menu. Config.txt. Again, you're gonna go to this uh, bus and cu customization, like show button customization, which we actually did that yesterday in the other tutorial. You're gonna turn this to true. This is because the um, menu gets pretty messed up. Um, but yeah, once you're done with that, all you gotta do is just press the launch button, and it should launch. Remember, you have to do that, uh, Java 17, because it does not like Java 22, apparently. I'm gonna have to reinstall Java 22 on my, um, uh, um, okay, so there it is, boom, um, I'm just gonna minus, like, hide that. Um, and we're going to, there we go, and 
and it's launching. Should take a little bit. And once it, if it does that, just uh, click on it. Don't just do that. Okay, um, should, come on, keep loading. There we go. And as you can see here, the menu is pretty messed up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, yeah, see Steve's all the way over here. Click on options, and you're gonna go up to this current menu button, click on it, customization, off. Video settings, um, you can boost your FPS, uh, limit, I just go to unlimited because it's, um, and then you're going to go to other, change this full screen mode current all the way down, you want to go to 10, uh, 1280 by 1024, click done, and that should give you two black bars on the sides, it's kind of messed up on OBS, but, um, you should, it should be in a 4x3 aspect ratio, so like, you know, what CRTs were originally using, and what some square monitors use. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and just shrink the menu bar. Click play. And then you can actually use a controller with it. Um, as long as you have it like connected to your computer, you can use a controller. And then, you know, let's just create a new world called uh, T. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, let's just do that. Enter. Um, and we're going to click on this close, create new world. And now it's going to say, preparing for world generation, do not turn off the system, yada, yada, yada. Um, and like I said, you can use controllers with this mod, which is pretty cool, because it already has, like, controller mods implemented. And, yep, there we go, we got the loading block, loading cube, <laughs> dirt block, grass block. Um, takes a little bit to actually, like, load, um, and then, you know, once this is gone, it should say, like, please load, um, overworld disc or whatever, but, um, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a pretty cool mod, um, y <laughs> warning, it is kind of scary, like, it's, it's a pretty scary mod, like, it's got some, like, horror aspects of it, um, yeah, let's see, there's like the overworld disc, and boom, we are in, this feels a lot like Minecraft Alpha, like, just like, the, the vibrant colors look a lot like Minecraft Alpha, and yeah, so, um, thank you guys for watching, um, if you want to see more videos, uh, definitely consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.